Hi, Super Spruce here, back with another Internet Dimensions reality update video, episode 7. And you can see it's been like an hour or so since the last episode. And I can get just enough to get two time theorems here and then another here, which allows me to get this upgrade, which is the Improve the Replicani Multiplier Formula, which really isn't all that good. We've seen how good it is. This is a lot better, but it costs 12 time theorems, which is a lot at this point, unfortunately. So I have, I have two choices here. I could grind eternity points, or I could just keep making, just keep pushing here, because I'm, I'm getting pretty close to a couple of other time theorems. It's not really going to be enough this run, but I... But it might be something. I'm not really sure, actually. I feel like what I want to do first is grind eternity points, actually. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to eternity and then turn my eternity auto buyer back on. I'm also going to set this to E40. It's probably going to be more optimal here. I'm just going to do an eternity so I can see what the optimal amount of eternity points is. To eternity yet is looks like it's about it, it looks like about one e4 so that's what we're gonna do so here we go more eternity point grinding hooray hopefully we can get some of these multipliers and eventually be on oh, then in addition we can get some of these time dimension multipliers so yeah see you in a bit Okay, it's been like a day or two, and you can see I have 3 million attorney points. I got this upgrade, and this will allow me to get a few more time theorems. It's actually not that many time theorems. You can also get some time dimension stuff. I'll get everything that costs less than 1 E6 here. So this is E5, E5, E5. I'm not going to get these quite yet. I'm not sure if. They're worth it. I'm going to see do the same with a couple of time theorems. And I can either get two more time theorems or get this. So I'm not really sure what is better at this point. Anyway, I'm going to try to disable this to just see how far I can get in just everything here. That's not eternity points, I guess. So you can see I can... I can get easily up to E200,000 antimatter, but that's not a lot anymore. I need E280,000 antimatter to get the next time study. And I really don't think a few eternity point things and a couple more time dimension things are going to help all that much. I will go back to automation, get this down to E10. That's going to that's gonna be faster. So it looks like this is about as far as I can push. It's not enough to get any more time theorems, but this is a bit farther than I was able to get. Actually, I'm still able to push just a little bit further, probably because there is a replicated galaxy at like E1275 infinity points. So this should hopefully allow me to get, at least if I do some more manual crunches, this should allow me to get at least one more time theorem, and this will give me this time study, which it's not going to help that much, but... It'll help at least a little bit. So I just gotta wait for a little bit over E1300 so I don't go under. And here we go. Time theorem, we can get this. This should hopefully boost things a little bit. I'm also realizing that this actually isn't very useful. So I'm actually gonna turn this off and just manually crunch from this point on. So I could try to push for E280,000 antimatter. I'm not really sure how useful that is at this point. I could try to actually, I'm thinking about this time, th these time studies here. Like this costs a total of 10, 17, 23, but this only costs 12. This will allow me to get um, the make the infinity point formula stronger. So I might try to go for that. I'm gonna do a crunch here. I'm going to also I'm gonna decide. I'm decided to get this. I think this is slightly better than a couple of time theorems. At least at this point, I'm gonna I'm gonna be gaining some of my eternity points back. Changing this back to E40 as I close in on this final time study, 
study that I can get. Actually, I can crunch here. It's probably going to make it a little bit faster. And there it is. E280,000 antimatter. Now I'm just going to eternity, respect my time studies, so I can go for this. I'm not really sure if this is actually better, but it's it's worth it to try. So I'm just going to go normal dimensions, get this, and then use any remaining time studies for something like this. So let, let, let's see what we can do with this. I'm going to turn this back on for the very early stuff. It looks like I can get to eternity very quickly. Like, I could even do something like this to just get to eternity extremely quickly in, like, a couple of seconds. I feel like actually doing E85 will be even quicker. I'm not really sure if this is optimal for eternity point grinding, but we can get eternities very quickly, which I don't... I don't think that this is... It's only going to affect this, because this is now... It's our, it's, I've now actually capped it at E9. And I'm, I don't know how much I'm going to be using that, but that that exists, so that's good. <laughs> but it looks like actually this time study path is currently the best, at least for infinity points. I don't because of this upgrade, it kind of makes it makes the infinity point formula better, which means I can get more infinity points. This will allow me to get one more time theorem. I don't really think it's going to allow me to do much more than that. This also could be a good build for just trying to get eternity points. So here's E1400 infinity points. Unfortunately, the next time study I can actually get, other than this one, which actually isn't very useful, costs three time studies. So I would have to push all the way to E300,000 antimatter and E1500 infinity points or get some eternity points, but I feel like this actually might be possible, even at this point, because I'm able, I'm still able to get like 20 orders of magnitude of infinity points per run. So I would say I made a good decision going with this path. When we get when we get this time study with like the infinity or time dimension path, that's going to be very, very useful. But we're we're not there quite yet. So here it is, E three hundred thousand antimatter plus. This time study it allows me to get this. It's not really a very powerful time study, but it's at least something. I'm trying to think if I want to try to get this time study, or I could respect these two, get three more time studies, so I can get this time study, which is 50 times eternity points. And this is, I mean, this isn't the most optimal way to grind eternity points. However, it's still giving me quite a bit of eternity points. So I'm actually going to try to grind eternity points so I can get the last couple time theorems so I can get the 50 times eternity point multiplier. Except it's it's based on how fast my eternities were. I, I could just, you know, spam click the button to get fast eternities like this. And this multiplier will go up. It's based on the last 10 eternity, so I need to do that a bunch, but it might be worth it. For I If I want to idle a bit, then I, I want to get this one instead. But if I'm trying to go fast, I will go with the active path. While I'm waiting, I will pick up this time study. It will make the eternity point grinding to get this last time study just, just a little bit quicker. So I can finally get this time study, so I will... Get it, I'm not going to respect yet, and now just go, just hold the E button down so I can get this multiplier to go up. You can see it is gradually going up, it's 30.2, 33.7, 38.6, it should eventually reach 50 times where it will be capped. So now since it is capped, I'm going to respect and attorney one more time, and I'm going to go here. The right path, go the antimatter dimension route, so I can actually afford stuff and then get this. So I'm gonna do one longer eternity run. This should hopefully get me. Oh yeah, it's gonna get me a lot of eternity points, all the way up to E7. So it looks like this is about optimal here. So I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna do some more fast eternity runs 
so I can get this back up to a 50 times multiplier. And while I'm while I'm waiting, if the mouse will move, hopefully, okay, maybe I have to do the attorney runs a little later. I'll buy a whole bunch of these time dimensions because that's what I can do. I can get another time theorem, which uh, does allow me to get these three studies and have this one, but then I have and have 111, but then I have to lose this, which is not good for eternity points. However, if I get one more time theorem, I can actually get 111 and go with infinity or time dimension path. So I think that's actually what I want to go for instead. I can't quite reach enough eternity points, so I will do one more run here. This is now at 50 times, and this will hopefully allow me to... Yeah, it's, it's going to get get me a lot of eternity points per minute. You can see just how powerful those few time dimension purchases actually were. This is only at like 4 E7 per minute. Now it's almost 8 E7 per minute. So that's that's pretty amazing, actually. And I could even try, well, maybe next run, where I go with infinity, or maybe time. I'm not sure if infinity or time dimension path is better. I'll check both, and I'll see what I can get with these so maybe it is time to eternity yeah let's 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 eternity now get two more time theorems and then i can spend all the rest on not replicani stuff like just the time dimensions so get this respec and then go with the right path i'm gonna go infinity dimension path first and i'll have just enough to get actually it looks like i have four extra i probably miscalculated somehow whatever I, I don't know why i keep miscalculating this i'll just see the this is an extra time theorem uh, that i can spend here this hope this is not going to give me as much eternity points but this will give me hopefully more antimatter and infinity points than before yeah, this is definitely doing a lot here. I can get E320,000 antimatter and E1600 infinity points. Maybe even E1700 infinity points. So I'm going to get this little boost, which really doesn't do all that much. I don't think I can get four more time theorems at this point. But I think the next thing I want to do isn't actually the time dimension path. It is going back to the antimatter dimension path so I can get you gain 50% more Replicanti galaxies because that that's very powerful and I'm gaining quite a bit of time theorems. Let, let's see. This is actually tw this is 23. This is actually 16. So I get seven extra time theorems, but I've already put six here. So it's 13. So I have 14. So I, I, I can just get this. And I could try to push all the way to E1800. I'm not really sure how much I want to do that. Something else I could try to do is try to get this and, like, try to get the Infinity Dimension Path plus the 121, which I could do. Yeah, I'm actually going to try to push because it looks like I do have some potential here because I gained 15 orders of magnitude right there. Now it's about 10 orders of magnitude. Yeah, I, I want to get as many time theorems as I can. So there is E1800 infinity points. Maybe I'll try to get E360,000 antimatter. Or, I don't, I'm not sure if I'm going to get there. I'm on like E354,000. If I do check this, we can see how close I am to another antimatter galaxy. I'm pretty far away from that. So, I'm also far from the next replicated galaxy so I think I might just want to respec and get this so respec get some decent eternity points here go down this path get all of this go infinity dimensions and I'll have just enough time theorems for this and this is where I can just hold the E key down and wait a little bit so I can actually get the this back up to a 50 times multiplier and then do one big eternity point run. 
So there it is. 50 times. Now I just wait for this to become very big. Actually, what I can do, I'm going to do a slightly shorter run here so I can get this upgrade. And then, okay, I do have to do 10 more eternities so I can actually get this 50 times multiplier. I mean, this is the annoying part of time study 121, but it is the best if I want to actually actively play this. You can see just how powerful this combo is. I'm able to get all the way up to 6.79 E8 eternity points. That's going to get me several time theorems. It might even, I'm not sure, I don't think it's quite enough to get something like this while in the infinity dimension path, but I could definitely get something like go with the antimatter dimension path and go all the way down to 141, which will get me another infinity point multiplier. So I'm going to get this. Let's see how many time theorems I can get. Actually, is this the best way to go? I'm not sure. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to go with this, get the, get a few time dimensions here. Definitely, I'll just get the cheapest ones until I can't afford any. Maybe except this one. This one's pretty expensive. And then just spend the rest on time theorems. So now let's go here. Let's go with this path. So I can get this. I think I think this is what I want. And then I can get this. I have one time theorem to spare. So I, so I probably should have just got the time dimension thing instead. It's okay. So after getting this all the way to the 50 times multiplier, or on this cost E3, E9. I was just checking here. I'm not really sure how much better this build is gonna be. I think. I think it's going to only be better once I can really start getting all the replicated galaxies. So I'm actually going to turn this all the way to E100, at least for now, and then I can start manually crunching. Because, because the other thing is that time study 141, it gets weaker and weaker as the infinities get longer and longer. I probably actually should get this additional time theorem so I can get this, which will synergize with this study. Not quite to this. This is a very powerful time study, but I'm not quite there yet. So it looks like I can get all the way up to E1600 and just crunch whenever I get all the way to the max replicated galaxies. It's going to allow me to get E9 eternity points, but the real question is if we can get more antimatter this way. So it looks like I'm actually going to be able to get two more replicated galaxies by getting all the way to E1875 infinity points. This is gonna really help with the next couple of time theorems. Finally, we can get two more time theorems this way, this way, and then I'm gonna go back to the infinity dimension path. See what I can get. Like hope, hopefully with the, I think with the infinity dimension path, I can now get the, I can get all the way down to 131. But, I'm going to hold this off until next episode. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Peace out.